Hello and welcome to another online homework help video from alexplacehelp.com. I'm Alex and I'm here to help. Today I'm here to help Julie from Indiana with a problem about L'Hopital's rule. So here's the problem. We have a function f of x equals the square root of x squared plus 9x minus x. And here's a graph of it. We want to find the limit as x goes to infinity of f of x. Limit as x goes to infinity, square root of x squared plus 9x minus x. If we were to start right off the bat, just plugging infinity in for x, we'd get what's known as an indeterminate form. Infinity squared plus 9 times infinity minus infinity, whole bunch of indeterminate forms there, but the main, main one is this infinity minus infinity. You can't get anywhere with that, so we need to apply what's known as L'Hopital's rule. So what is L'Hopital's rule? Whoops. L'Hopital's rule says that if you have the limit as x goes to some constant c of f of x divided by g of x, if the limit exists, then you can then take the derivative of f of x and the derivative of g of x and then solve the limit from there. Sometimes the uh, derivatives come out to be still gnarly and you get more indeterminate forms, but as long as the limit exists, you can, you can keep applying L'Hopital's rule. You can take the second derivative of f and g and then the third derivative if you need to, but in this case we'll just cross that bridge when we get to it. So the first step is to take these, this internal part, f of x, and rationalize it. It's sort of analogous to taking the complex conjugate when you're uh, simplifying uh, imaginary numbers, but it's not the same thing, so don't conflate the two. It's just kind of similar. Because we need to get rid of this um, square root and we need to make it a quotient, basically. So instead of a minus x, we have a plus x at the top, and since we do one thing on top, we have to do the same to the bottom. So when you simplify that, you get 9x divided by the square root of x squared plus 9x, and then plus x. The top and the bottom both have a factor of x, so you can factor x out of everything, and then you end up with 9 on top, this quotient here, plus 1. Oh, by the way, while you're watching this, if you hit the HQ button and or the expand view button, the text becomes a lot clearer. I'm shooting this on a different format than the original YouTube format, so just blow the video up so you can see the text better. Just a helpful tip. When you rewrite this, this quotient down here, you get this one big radical, x squared plus 9x over x squared plus 1. Remember, this is all of the internal stuff. This is still f of x. We haven't changed what f of x is yet. So here's the original. And now here it is rewritten with what we just what we just uh, came up with. It's 9 over all that mess. Using the limit rules, we can apply the quotient rule and the sum rule. The limit of a quotient is equal to the quotient of the limits. And the limit of a sum is equal to the sum of the limits. So we have the limit of 9, the limit of this radical, and the limit of 1. When you simplify this limit and this limit, you get just the constant because there's no variable in it. So we're left with this. The 9 and the 1 just kind of hanging out until we're done with this limit here. If you apply the power rule to the limit that we have left over, we can move this square root because it is the same as raising it to a one-half power. So if we raise the entire limit to the one-half power, the limit hops inside the radical. Here, now we can do some work with it. If we substitute infinity in for x, we get another indeterminate form, infinity divided by infinity. We still can't do anything with that. But we can apply L'Hopital's rule to this part right here. We take the derivative of x squared plus 9x and the derivative of x squared. Simplify, combine like terms, we get 9 over 2x plus 1. 
Now, I'm going to clear the screen a little bit and we can look at what we have so far. This, using L'Hopital's rule, became this. If we substitute in infinity for this x here, only working with the limit, ignoring the radical and the quotient for now, just working with the limit, the limit as x goes to infinity of 9 over 2x plus 1, this becomes 9 over 2 times infinity plus 1, when you divide by infinity, the entire quotient goes to zero. When you divide by a really large number, it becomes really small. When you go all the way to infinity, it goes all the way to zero. So that limit is only equal to one. So now, substituting in the limit, we get nine over the square root of one plus one, because this entire limit becomes one. The square root of 1 is just equal to 1. So the final, final answer is 9 over 2. The limit as x goes to infinity of f of x equals 9 over 2. Or, in, fract in decimal form, 4.5. If you graph the function over a long enough uh, x interval, you can see that the function asymptotes to 9 over 2, or 4.5. So Julie, I hope that helped. And if anyone has a problem that they just can't figure out, send it on over to me, www.alexpleasehelp.com.